In this video, I will be discussing oxidation and reduction reactions. To understand oxidation and reduction, you first need to know what oxidation numbers are. And I talked about it in a, in a previous video. So, oxidation and reduction. The first thing you need to know about this is that they will always be together. So when there is oxidation, there will be re re reduction going on at the same time. Now let's define each of them. Oxidation will be the loss of electrons. So loss of electrons. And then reduction would be the opposite. So the gain of electrons. So, a good way to know if something gets oxidized or reduced is by using this graph. So you'll have something like this. Line. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, if something is gaining an electron, you'll be getting reduced. And when you gain electrons, you become more negative. So, if, if it goes this way, it's reduction. Now, if you're losing electrons or getting oxidized, you will become more positive. So, it'll go this way. Oxidation. So, for example, if your oxidation number in the reactant side was minus 2 and in the product side it became uh, 1 it is becoming more positive so it is, it is going this way so it is oxidation and then if your oxidation number was 1 and it went to minus 2 it will be going to the left so it is method of reduction. But I have to, in to introduce two terms that you'll be using in redox reactions. So there's always going to be an oxidant and a reductant. The oxidant as its name says, oxidizes. So it oxidizes. The, a better way to say it is that it does the oxidation. And something I forgot to mention, the oxidant it can also be called the oxidizing agent. And the reductant, the reducing agent. Well, the oxidizing agent will oxidize the other, the other reactant, but the oxidant or the oxidizing agent will be the 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 compound that is getting reduced. So it gets reduced. Now I know this may sound confusing, but if you think about it, there's always going to be something getting getting oxidized and something getting reduced. If the oxidant is oxidating the the other element, then the oxidant will be what is getting reduced. And then we have the reductant, which does the reducing. So the reducing agent reduces the, the, the other the oxidant. Does the reducing reduction. And well if if the reductant reduces the, the, the other compound, it will get oxidized. So it gets oxidized. So for you to picture it better, I'm going to write, let's say we have A plus B, and then it forms something. It doesn't matter. 
Now, let's say A is the oxidant and B is the reductant. So, the oxidant will oxidize the, the other compound. So, the other compound is B. So, this is what is getting oxidized. And the reductant will reduce the, the other compound, in this case A. So, this is getting reduced. So if you can think about it in, in, in a chemical reaction or a chemical equation, you won't get it confused. So now let's let's solve a problem in which we have to identify to identify the oxidant, the reductant, and which species gets oxidized and which species gets reduced. So we have C wrong color CH4 plus two oxygens forms two waters plus carbon dioxide. If you remember this, this is a combustion reaction. There's oxygen, there, there's oxygen, uh, water, and there's oxygen as, as your reactant and water and carbon dioxide as your products. And we have a uh, fuel here. That's the CH4. But that doesn't really matter for now. So we want to know first which species gets oxidized and which species gets reduced. So the first thing you want to, to do is find the oxidation number of each of the of the compounds, of, of each atom of the compound. So let's start with CH4. For CH4, we want to say that we'll, we'll know the oxidation number of carbon, so we're going to put it as X and plus when hydrogen is with with a non with a non metal like carbon, its oxidation number <coughs> its oxidation number will be plus one. But we have four, so it will be four times one. And there's no charge here, so it will be equal to zero. Then we get the X plus four is equal to zero. So carbon has an oxidation number of minus four. That is as a reactant. As a reactant. So, as a reactant. Now, we don't really have to obtain it for oxygen because it is simply a diatomic molecule there. And it is, it is zero. There is there's no compound. When, when oxygen is in, in, in its natural form, the, it, it will be zero as, as any element. So, we know that, that for oxygen, the oxidation number O2 is zero. Now it's time for water. Again here, the oxidation number for oxygen is given to you. And but this time this is, this is not uh, just an element. It is it is a molecule of water. So oxygen will have an oxidation number of minus two just because it's it's a constant so it'll be minus two now you can see here that oxygen went from zero to minus two and now let's solve the last one which is CO2 uh, CO2 we don't know carbon it'll be X Plus, as we said before, uh, oxygen has a oxidation number of minus two, so it'll be minus two, and we have two oxygens, two atoms of oxygen, and this will be equal to zero because it's not it's not a polyatomic ion or a monatomic ion, so zero. And then we get the x minus four will be zero. X will be equal to plus four. So carbon well, the oxidation number of plus four now. So you so carbon went from minus four to plus four. And now we can identify which one get redu got reduced and which one got oxidized. Let me erase all of this just to have space. 
I'm just leave this here. So let's go with oxygen first. Oxygen went from zero to minus two, so it became more negative. So that tells that tells us that it gained electrons. And if something gains electrons, it is getting reduced. So the O2 got reduced. And then the carbon got went from minus four to plus four. So it lost electrons because it be, because it became more positive. And if something loses electrons, it it's getting oxidized. So the CH4 got oxidized. So let's raise this. And now we have to identify which is the oxidizing agent and which is the reducing agent or just oxidant and reductant. So we said that the oxidant gets reduced. So what got reduced here was the O2. So is our oxygen and the reductant is what got oxidized so the CH4 something you have to remember is that this will, this will the the reductant or oxygen will always be in the reactant side you will, you, you will not get that in the product side and well that is how you find the, the oxidant and reductant in a redox reaction